Hi everyone, welcome to the KOPS channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to be taking a look at how we can have properties for different environments and this is going to be very important uh, for us be able for us be able to run uh, our tests in RCI. Right, so if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive the, the, the notifications for my next videos. And let's start. So if we take a look at our, what we have so far, we we have the, the tasks to run Gradle and different tests, right? But now uh, we have we are able to run locally and the config is right here. We everything we are doing we need to be able to do locally. But what happens if we need to run in RCI? Right? RCI might be local host, but the port might be different. You, you might not have control over which port is going to be ran. You might want to have uh, to run those tests on a dev environment, QA environment, stage environment, whatever environment you have. Right? So it's very each environment is going to have different properties that you might need to change. So it's very important for you to be able to run those different the, the same test in different environments. So we're going to be using a library called Owner, and that library is going to help us achieve that. Right. So. The first thing we need to do is set up owner uh, in, uh, dependencies, right? So if you take a look here, he, this is owner documentation. You have various setup here. This is where I learned how to use owner. So you can take a look at the documentation. So this is what we need to have the library, right? So this is our test implementation. I'm going to put a plus here. So we don't have to worry about minor uh, versions. It's going to automatic download minor versions for us. Right, so now we already have the ability to run on it. So now we need to tell the properties that we need. Right, so I'm going to put the properties on resources and I'm going to create a, not a file. I'm going to create a directory. Uh, what is directory? Directory called properties and under properties i'm going to create a file called local properties so this is where you're going to have your various environments you can have uh so if you, you have a dev environment it's going to be dev properties if you have staging it's going to be staging properties if you have qa you're going to, it's going to be qa properties all right, so now we need to tell the properties that we need, right? So the properties that we have been using so far is base URI, URI base pass, and there is a port that we also need to define. So I'm going to use a pattern that is common to Java, but you can use whatever you, you, you want to use. Base, API base dot URI, and HTTP localhost. Right, we're going, we also going to define the pass, which is a slash API. And I'm also going to, we have also to define the port. I'm not going to use API base port. I'm going to use port straight away because there is a specifically functionality on owner that I'd like to show you. So it's going to be the port one through three, four, one, two, three, four, and five. So now I need to map this property that we just create with owner right this property by itself is not doing anything so now i need to tell owner you need to use these properties so i'm going to create a package under support called config and i'm going to create a file called server config server config Right, so this is a class that we created, but this is actually should be an interface. You're going to see that owner tells you to create an interface. So this is interface that extends config. And the config that extends is the owner config, it's not the rest assured, it needs to be the owner config. Right, so we need to tell which variable we're going to map. So I'm going to map string base URI. So interfaces are abstract implementations, right? So we're going to you need to define what needs to be implemented. In our case, we just need to define 
what is the the variable that we are mapping here what are the not the variable the properties right so i'm going to say base uri but this is not a variable this this needs to be a method like an implementation so the first one is base uri and i need to tell it what kind of key i'm mapping to so we are mapping to api base uri so this is what we are mapping to so i'm going to give an annotation called key this is the owner annotation and i'm going to say this is going to be mapped to api base uri is going to see that's going to color it with orange color notify us that's being used i'm also going to be using the base path and this is base path and also going to tell us that it's being used the port this is what i wanted to show you a little bit right the port is interesting because the port uh, uh we define only the port here the name so i don't need to tell what uh, a different key I, need, I don't need to map to a different key if my method is the same name as the property so port is the same name so owner is going to already know what to do with it right we don't need to do anything else great but i still need to tell owner where is this file right where which is, where is the local properties how does owner know that i want to use the local property so i'm going to give another annotation called config sources and i need to tell what kind between curly brackets what kind where is my file so my file is on my class path of my project so i say class path and it's on properties sorry this this needs to be a string class path properties slash local properties so now owner knows where it needs to map my file amazing the last thing I'm, I'm going to do is now i need to tell okay we know how to map the properties we know we already defined the properties we already know how to map the properties now i now i need to use these properties we have been defined in our config our local property so i need to change this and this right so what we're going to do here is i'm going to change this so now my researcher basic base uri needs to be the owner one so what i need to do i need to create my server config right so server config i'm going to call it properties and it's going to be a config factory create and what i'm going to create i'm going to create a server config class now i can come here and note note something that the base uri is the local host separated by dot uh, columns and so i need to do this so i could easily do properties base uri plus double colon plus properties properties dot base uh, port but this is not the java way right so we could have a string format that i can say string format and my format is i'm going to have a string separated by column and i'm going to have an integer so this is how i can format and now i can pass the variables for it so it's properties dot base uri and properties port now it's complaining that property is uh i mapped as a string but here i did as an integer a uh, uh, percentage d means integer 
So I rather have an integer hidden because a port is an integer, it's not a string. So I would rather have integer and now it's fine. Great, and now my base pass is going to be uh, properties dot base pass. So I have my server already running. If I run all my tests, it should be fine. Great, because it's getting from my local properties. But I do have an issue here. Right? The way that we set up, we are always on the before here. We are always creating the, the factory. We are always creating the config, the server config. So if I have another test that needs uh, other kind of properties, because these properties can have many variables and many, many properties. So if I need to use in another place, I would have to create another config factory. Right, I would have to set up another factory, and that's not very helpful. I can have a singleton, which is if you don't have that instance, you create that instance. But if that instance already exists, just return whatever it's already there. So we can do that, right? So what I'm going to do in Honor allows us to do that. Uh, fairly easy. I can create another file, another class here called config manager. And I'm going to create a private uh, constructor because if I don't define a private constructor, I'm going to have a public one by default. So I define just a private constructor, just to block anyone else to use the, the regular constructor, the, the, the full constructor. <clears throat> and I'm going to have a method static one that's going to return a server config and I'm going to call this method get configuration. And what this method is going to do for us is going to return a config cache because it's caching that, and this is the key, it's either getting or creating. So it's either getting or creating a server config class. So now the method itself is going to be able to return or create a new one. So now I need to change this. So my server config properties, instead of always creating, is going to be config manager dot get configuration so now i can run my test so what this get configuration is doing is if the configure if the the properties is already there it's going to return the properties the server config if the server config is not there it's going to create the new server config for me so Anywhere that I need to use this, I just need to uh, call config manager get configuration, and I have uh, all my my properties available for me, regardless if I'm local or if I'm on a CI or whatever, whatever I am. Right? So the way that we set up, we are only able to run this on our local machine, right? But we still need to set up for our CI. And this is what we're going to be doing in the next video. We're going to be start actually working on our Circle CI because this is where our test is going to be ran. And we're going to evolve on setting up the CI on the owner also, right? So thank you for watching. This is what I wanted to show you. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive the notifications of my next videos. And if you like it, give the thumbs up. And it's really important that you do because that's how the channel can keep growing. All right. So see you on the next video.